Welcome back, everybody. Aesop Grimm here, and this is the continuation of our second chronicle in Crusader Kings 3. This one with the Royal Court DLC. And uh, we're in the year 961. We're getting awfully close to sewing up the Kingdom of Sicily. That's actually not a good way to describe that. That would be later on. We're getting awfully close to forming the Kingdom of Sicily. I need this county right here, and then I can grab the Duchy of Sardinia, and that's the last thing that I need, because I've got the money. So let's go over... Let's see, declare wars. Titles can be created. I could create either of these duchies, but this is the duchy that I want to hang on to. As a king, you get to hang on to two duchies. Um, so I figure I'll just create them now. Let's see, we'll get rid of that. We can lawfully imprison our sister. I'm not interested in doing that. Okay, before we get started on today's war, <laughs> um, my youngest daughter here, Martina, I got her matrilineally married to Thibault de Guy. I'm not sure how to say his last name. He's French. So, uh, Guise, maybe. Um, and it's matrilineal, but she's only 13. Now, I'm waiting for that to happen, and then I will grant him land. Um, probably this county right here. Maybe, actually, maybe Bari. I'll, I'll grant him Bari. And then that will get me back at my domain limit. In the meantime, you can see we're making, we're getting close to making 30 ducats a month, which is really nice. Um, what else? I was able to matrilineally marry several courtiers. There were a couple guests that I invited also to, uh, to marry off and and so now we're at six of seven nights and or not only that we're at six of seven nights with bad fighters and court positions disabled in addition to my heir so um and we're at 115 percent night effectiveness and we have 10 months remaining on our contract here with the company of st george so all of that said, we can go ahead and this is uh, Galura. He has no uh, no allies, so he does have 1,500 troops, and we should be able to declare war on him for our claim. And his military strength is counted as vastly inferior. I think it's actually here that we want to go. All right, we're in August of 961. Our troops are moving. Okay, he is going to, or she, is going to get the just trait. Remember, that's really good for Roman culture. We get additional benefits from it. Oh, we've only got three months left. Wow. So they don't have a very strong fort. My contract expiring. I didn't see their troops. Oh, here they are, 1513. Uh, hopefully I have enough troops left. Oh, I should. I think I have around 2,500 troops. Maybe it's 2,000. 
Wait, how much would it cost to re-up? It would cost 634 gold. I'm not interested in doing that. Okay, so that's how you do it, though. You click, I guess. And it would, uh, it, it would extend them. Okay, we've got 20 days left in this siege. 10 days. 5. Romans are superior. Okay, we got them. That puts us at plus 21% war score. get there in time yes and that puts us at plus 74 percent I don't know what else to uh, siege down popular figurehead I don't have any allies. I think we do have a ticking war score, though. Yeah, I just I don't know where else I would go. Oh, down here. Okay, we lost our mercs. Almost 3,000 troops without the mercenaries. We do have a ticking war score. We're up to plus 80%. Okay, they're going to raise troops. Mayor Papo is, we're done swaying him. So let's move to our steward. Three hundred and sixty two troops, that's obviously not enough. We're at eighty one percent war score. Now we're at eighty two percent. And we have a four month siege. Okay. Okay, things are moving along. We uh we should be playing Royal Court DLC this episode. Three months left. Oh, that's right. During that off-screen time, guys, uh, whenever I was getting our court settled out and bringing new knights in, our liege died. And so we're actually serving under um, a boy king. He's a child. It's typically not a great thing. It leads to uh, an unstable realm. Twenty days. All right, come on, come on, come on. Plus eighty-seven percent. Bridge collapse in Napoli. A bridge in Napoli has recently collapsed. It was a major thoroughfare connecting various villages in the region, so we must fix it as soon as possible. One hundred gold. Reasonable time frame, five years, relatively quickly. Yeah, let's do it relatively quickly. Okay. And we 
will return home to Salerno. Okay. One hundred and seventy five gold to create the Duchy of Sardinia. Bone bone dice. I started to say bonadice. <laughs> um, playing dice is often associated with lower classes, gamblers, criminals, those of little consequence. The owner of bone dice. I shouldn't waste my life playing games like this. What does it do? Dice for playing games and gambling made out of some sort of animal bone. It is better to use one's dice anyways. Who knows if the other player is using loaded dice. We do lose a little bit of piety per month, but we gain diplomacy and intrigue. I'll take it. Okay. And we can ransom for 10 gold. Have we arrived home yet? Not yet. There it is. Kingdom of Sicily for 350 gold. We will get 400 prestige as well. All right, let's enter the royal court. So we are now a king or a despot. That's the term that the Byzantine Empire uses. We are still in the Byzantine Empire because the Byzantine Empire is a... Uh, well, it's an empire, so it has it can have multiple kings under it. We're set up as an intrigue court. I think we should go with a war court. Oh, and we get another arms, man-at-arms regiment. Yeah, we should definitely go with this. Okay. Our court language is Latin. I'm good with that. We are a grandeur level three. We have last century fashion, bland food, very few servants, and minute lodgings. Okay. Let's hang tapestries. All right, and I don't think I have anything else that I can put up. We're at Grancher level one, but I think we have potential for three and a half, it looks like. Well, actually it would be Grancher level 25. We have so much money that this seems trivial. We can jump all the way up to, how do you pronounce that? Hot couture, fashion. Exotic food. Grand lodgings and endless servants wow yeah one 3.2 ducats a month that's a pittance com we're making almost 30 ducats a month once applied the modified amenities will be locked for 12 months change amenity levels if you change court amenities in your royal court you cannot change that category again for 13 months the new set of amenities will cost 3.2 ducats a month. That's awesome.
We're currently ranked 32nd in the world. Galicia, Moravia, and Quocho are right above us. But we're going to be moving up fast, I think, given what I just did here. Um, okay, let's, let's hold court. Costs us 100 prestige. Sitting on my throne, I gesture for my guards to open the doors of the hall. A stream of people file in, some lining up in front of my throne while others move out of the way so they can simply observe the proceedings. After several moments, all movement in the chamber has ceased, all faces turn towards mine expectantly. In front of me, I count three petitioners lined up in an orderly row, waiting for me to call on them. Okay, I guess this is, this is our grandson. That's cool that it tells us who is who here. Knight Aurelian of Lecce, 27 years old. The air is thick with anticipation as my martial Count Aurelian approaches me. My lord, I come with grave news, but with a solution to fix this problem. It's become increasingly clear that the Greeks and Romans are becoming more, perhaps even too, similar. It's paramount that we show them that it's us, Romans, who are the forefront of innovation. Let's host a festival to celebrate our rich Roman culture. Arrange for an exhibition to show off our grandest accomplishments. Cultural acceptance between Romans and Greeks decreases. The first one, cultural acceptance between Romans and Greeks decreases. Every Greek vassal loses 10 opinion of you. Every Greek vassal loses 5 opinion. Or there's no need for us to exercise superiority over the other cultures. No, there's a great need. We will go with the top one. A commotion arises from the back of my court. Before anyone can grab him, a man rushes up to your throne, halting before you but offering no deference. One look in his eyes tells me all, you, all I needed to know. This man is not mentally sound. Monster, you sent us to die. Why do you go unpunished? From this man's ranting, I have discerned that he had somehow been involved in one of my wars, which is probably why he is so distressed. What, did it, what is to be done with this lost creature? Give him the death he wants. You immediately enter into a single combat with Trajan. Possible outcomes. Trajan is killed by you. We gain 350 prestige and lose 48 stress, and we also gain aspiring blade master. Or we are killed by Trajan. Is there a way to see? He is a 17 or an 8. Yeah, we shouldn't take that option. That that was <laughs> the only reason it was tempting is because you get this. Uh, there's a lot of stuff you get out of that. We could have him executed. But that's uh, really bad for us because we're content. So I liked this first option anyhow. All right, this is the third one. My lord, I represent the religious community of Trapea. While rummaging through our modest archive, we have come across a very peculiar book. The cover was dusty, the binding fragile, and the pages were yellowed by time, but it contained the most unusual drawings. And the script itself was unknown to us all. We are certain it is unique in the world, a long, a long lost val uh, vault of knowledge, a true treasure. That's why we offer it to you. Perhaps it's the original copy of the will of God, or it's a memoir from the world's creation. Thanks, I'll add it to my collection. <laughs> we gain mysterious book, fascinating, call for my antiquarian. I think that's what I want to do. Who cares about books? Yeah, bring in the antiquarian. As the last petitioner departs, various courtiers follow them out of the room, having business to attend elsewhere. Others remain, talking amongst themselves about the recent proceedings. Soon the ceremonial formality of the proceedings has dropped 
has dropped away entirely with the hum and bustle of normal courtly life taking its place. My business here is done. Yeah. That was pretty cool. The court is empty once more. All right. X out of here. X out of here. X out of here. Hit pause. Attempt suicide. Oh my gosh. Is this how I want to be presented? Maybe. Oh, we can choose a weapon? Well, I like the idea of having a sword. Oh, choose your knight strategy. Oh, well, that's interesting. Let's go second line. Thou art part of thy army. <laughs> I don't know why I hadn't seen these options before. Here's our biography. In 943, we took over the Duchy of Salerno. In 946, we gained the county of Calabria from Graziano. In 953, we gained the... We defeated Zoe of Dalmatia. Oh, uh, we were called into war on that one. In 954, we took the county of Calabria. No, we had already taken the county. Well, we won against Graziano. I'm not sure what was going on there. In 960, we won against Artemius of Syracusa. Oh, these were two different counties that we took. Uh, it was uh, Costenza and Rossano. And then we took Syracuse from Artem Artemius. In 961, we took Tortoli from Laurentu. In 962, we took uh, Gallurda. It's named Constantine under his culture, but under ours, it's Gallurda, uh, Gallurda from Ixvenson. And in 963, we became the king of Sicily. All right, cool. You can also click this, and it opens it up like, oh, that's neat. There's a whole bunch of info in here. All right. Exit. Um, we're 53 years old. We can disband troops. We're making 25.8 ducats a month. We are going to have two more, an increase of two in domain here pretty soon. We should, uh, oh look, we got something to attend to here. Principissa Martina of Sicily, our 15 year old daughter. What dost thou want? Greetings, my sensible despot, Gracchus says, taking in his surroundings. I am very interested in the upbringing of your daughter, Martina. You see, I speak Greek, a language that I believe would be most useful for her to learn. He explains with a genuine tone. I just need coin for quills, ink, parchment, and some personal compensation, of course. I don't think we need her to know any of that. Okay, get out of here again. Now, what else can we be doing? Let's look at our court. We probably need to fill out the rest of our positions now that we're a king. Justiniana will be our taste, our food taster. Master of the horse. Master of the Hunt. Royal Architect. I'm just trying to assign the best that we have. High Almoner. Seneschal. Cup Bearer. Cup 
court jester. Uh, normally, that's going to be somebody that we we want to upset. I think. I want to look at the other positions first. A court poet. We don't have anybody. A court musician. And then uh, a bodyguard. And we're kind of out of people. <laughs> yeah. Okay, we're making 21.7 ducats a month now. We have four prisoners. No money. No money. No money. You are a lady. We, um, you're 18. Oh, we could employ her as an executioner? I guess nobody wants to be an executioner. Negotiate her release. Unpause it. Now, find her a spouse matrilineally and take prowess. Grab this guy, he's got an inheritable trait. Okay, who else do we have? You are betrothed to this fella. Bonifazzi, you're part of a famous Italian family. What are you doing in my prison, Bonifazzi? Montalcino. You are a giant. Um, I'm gonna let her go. She's uh, she's betrothed. She's got a life waiting for. Her. I don't know. I felt merciful. Uh, not to you. <laughs> I don't know why. You're not really of much use to me. Oh, he won't accept. He doesn't want me to have a favor against him. That's funny. All right, fine. Yeah, you're currently what? Uh, in house arrest? How about we make your uh, surroundings a little less comfortable? All right. <laughs> um, you are 61. I think you would leave us... Ransom for a favor. Be gone with you, good sir. Well, he stayed in Solera now. Alright. I was kind of hoping he'd go elsewhere. No. <laughs> he really doesn't want to give up that favor. Okay. Demonstration of surgery. A learned man is traveling through town to exchange knowledge with the physicians in the area. He is knowledgeable about medical treatments, particularly surgery, and has invited several of us to go see a demonstration of his surgical skills when he operates on a lesser nobleman. It will be a rather squeamish affair, though, as most surgeries tend to be. Should I attend? Yeah. Yeah, I'll do that. All right. Um, I must consider my... Oh, there's a kidnapping. 
A few of my loyal servants were traveling to a nearby town for official business on my behalf when they were attacked and taken hostage by a large gang of bandits. The bandits demand a sum of 100 gold to let my servants free. I will have one year to pay this ransom before they will kill my servants. My servants are mere peasants, so it wouldn't reflect too badly in the eyes of some of my courtiers if I simply leave my servants to their fate. That's not to mention there is no guarantee the bandits will even honor the deal if I do pay the ransom. On the other hand, these are my loyal servants, so I will need a daring plan if I wish to rescue them, or perhaps it might be better to simply pay the ransom and hope things work out. Consider options carefully. Let's hit pause. We're in 26 May, 963 AD, and we are the King of Sicily. Oh, man. I, I just love seeing the map start to slowly grow our name on it, you know? And uh, I think that's cool. Here, before I think about it, I'm going to order... Oh, I can't. Oh, man, our hunts are really expensive now. Okay. I am going to find a Greek teacher, though. That's going to cost money also. Well, we're making pretty good money. But one thing at a time. I wanted to get rid of that stress, so we're going to go on a hunt, but that's going to be in the next episode. Oh, Ransom Kidnapped Servants. I, I don't have any other options. Well, that, I, we should save that for the next episode. All right, let's, uh, let's look at the world. The Byzantine Empire is growing up this coast here. Um, I don't really see anything else that's noteworthy. All right, so let's save it. And again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I thought this was a, an interesting episode. That some neat stuff happened. We got into our court. We have formed the Kingdom of Sicily. What is left for us to do now is to grab Benevento, grab all of Sicily, and round up the rest of Sardinia. Maybe we will take Corsica as well. It looks like we're going to have to go with Cor go against, go to war against Corsica regardless. And, um, and then as long as uh, everything's stable within the Empire, so we're making what we're expect to be making and our vassals are happy they don't have to be super happy like plus 100 but i don't want to have any red in here then that'll be where we conclude this uh this chronicle so we are on our way to that uh right now and off screen i'm going to go through and see if i want to change anything in how we look all right guys uh Again, I'm Aesop Grimm. Thank you for coming by the channel. I hope you like what you saw. I hope all is good in your neck of the woods. And I will see you in the next episode where this story continues.